Having made it through my last big training run before the big race, I was pretty sure I'd made enough of a recovery from my injuries. I might not be able to put in my best performance ever, but I was confident I could at least make it to the end. After weeks of uncertainty, I'd finally started to get excited. This time next week, I will be huffing and puffing my way through the 45 kilometer race through the Blue Mountains in New South Wales, uh, known as the Six Foot Track. Uh, it's a trail run, which means it's not, uh, not going to be easy. Even though, though it's only three kilometers longer than a regular marathon, it's likely to take me a good two or three hours longer to run it. And while the ankle was holding up okay, the brain, well, that was still having its moments. Also left me with a really bad snake phobia now. So running on some of these narrower paths. Oh, I can't do it. I was gonna go that way, but I just, I'm a bit freaked out. It's um, the end of summer, but it's definitely the peak snake season. really been able to bring myself to run some of the narrower paths on my own. The path that I'm about to come up on now is where I saw the snake. I finally managed to run there again the other day on the advice that you would almost never see the same snake again in the same place. And I saw the same snake in the same place. Uh, and it's really, really affected my enjoyment of these trail runs. But I'll show you where I saw this snake and had my mishap. happen. Hopefully today we'll get through it without any uh, scares. And I can start building my confidence up again. I managed to get myself to run down the infamous trail again where my previous snake jumping effort had resulted in a pretty average ankle injury, but my hopes to get through unscathed were short-lived. So in a split second, months of training and weeks of rehab trying to get back on track went out the window. I've just done the same ankle again. Oh. I don't think, oh, this is the worst possible outcome. I'm miles from home and uh, I have no phone. I'm gonna have to see if I can find someone. After calling for help and eventually making my way home, I had to face the fact that my dream of running the six foot track was over. With my ankle popping out in places it wasn't supposed to pop out in, I could tell that this time the injury to my already fragile ankle was way more serious and there was no way I'd be running again anytime soon. I'd have to wait a whole year before I could try again. Today was supposed to be my last big training run before the six foot track next week. And it was an absolute disaster. 